Hi everybody, hope you're doing great. I've got a special video in store for us. I did a journey into the February energies to offer some <laughs> interpretation. It's actually really positive. It was refreshing, to be honest. There's also advice in there to help you get grounded in the month of February. Um, if you're new to my channel, I share psychic wisdom and energy healing. My name is Abby Normal. That's my YouTube channel name. And so subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything new that posts. All right, I'm going to roll out the tape. Enjoy. First picture is like this. There's a wheel of fortune and it's got those little pins on it. So when it's spinning, you can hear it go click, 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 click as it slows down and we finally see where it stops. So right now it's still spinning, it's still clicking. My gosh, why isn't it slowing down? <laughs> Wheels are turning. It's actually a pretty cool message. So this Wheel of Fortune is full of options, is full of ideas. <laughs> and so as it spins around, it's like, where do we stop? Nobody knows. What is the idea for right now? It's like all of them. Seems like there's going to be access to a lot of abundant ideas and the wheels are going to be turning. That's going to feel revitalizing. It's going to feel refreshing. So let me continue to watch here. I could imagine that when the wheel of fortune is spinning around, it might be a little bit dizzying might feel like the hamster wheel. Are we moving forward? Are we running in place? Um, so, so these are some of the ideas that come to me. I'm sort of sending it out to the universe to get a feel for how this might fit in a complicated way. Thus far, this picture is positive. It feels like the wheels are turning. The mind's got a lot of interesting ideas. There's a lot of ideas. Maybe we can't really pick one yet, or maybe we're working with so many, it's just turning into a blur and things are just moving. So it's a positive Im image. So I'm looking for alternatives to that. So just give me a second here. Okay, so we're, we're going to continue with this picture and we're going to continue to listen to the clicking. It's a bit of a representation of time, but my gosh, if time moves that quickly, the seconds are really fast. <laughs> so maybe it'll be a fast moving month. Time will be flying. I'm not sure. So I'm slowing my energy down. And when I slow my energy down, it alters my relationship with the movement my relationship with speed and time and the many options. This doesn't reduce the excitement. It's just getting grounded and a bit more mature about it. Because you, you got to work with one thing at a time. I always think about this when I get in a hurry, that the truth is, as a human being, I can't wake up and shower and brush my teeth and eat my breakfast and get dressed all at the same time. I can only do one thing at a time. And when I do one thing at a time, sometimes it feels like it takes too long to do all these things, but realistically it, just, it doesn't. I'm just being impatient. So I'm honoring slowing down. which is one of those tools, reflect on this here for February. If things are moving too quickly, it's okay to slow down. You're not losing your handle on any of this. In fact, you're making a more mature connection with all the options. You're actually in the flow of more of a natural pace of time, make you feel a little more grounded um, they're showing me a, a cowboy with a horse. I can't tell if they've got their hands on the, the reins or not. So they're just sort of hoping everything is going to be fine. And the horse is just going full speed. And when you slow down and you take some time to actually get a feel for where you're at, what you're doing, where your hands are at, what you actually want to grab hold of, 
And if you want to grab hold of the reins, grab hold of them, whether you need to use them or not. It's time to slow down and get a real feel for how you want to have this experience of life. Otherwise, it's like lightning speed moving very quick and you're just kind of going with the rush. So slowing down is going to be a good way to navigate something quite exciting energetically. This does not feel like running in place, like the hamster wheel idea. This does not feel that way. <sighs> okay, so as I slow down, there's some energy medicine here for you. So my behavior then is being absorbed into you subconsciously. And somewhere in the echo of yourself, there's going to be a reminder there. It's okay to slow down if it's appropriate for you, right? It's a wise move. I'm still looking at the spinning wheel and I'm not, I don't need to hear the clicks. I don't need to um, see where it ends. You know, if it wants to spin forever more, it's fine. Seems like I'm starting to experience a reflective mirror. And that the spinning wheel has to do with life and there's a lot of movement and I'm getting into the reflection of how that movement makes me feel and how I want to be in the flow of that movement. So there's a lot more strength being built, more maturity being built with life moving forward, okay? How you want to move forward in life, the decisions that you want to make. And to be able to make those decisions, you got to be a bit grounded, okay? Slow down. Don't get ahead of yourself here. Don't get in the flash of life. Slow down and get clear here on what you want to have a hold of and what you don't need to have a hold of it. It's just getting a feel for yourself and how things are moving, how things are flowing. But it feels very exciting to me. I'm still, I'm still waiting for that message that is like, and by the way, there's also going to be this <laughs> gloom and doom. No, it's actually pretty chill, like, it's kind of nice, to be honest. All right, so I'm going to relax some more. Keep slowing down. You know, the wheel, it's, it's not important to me. It's just, it's there, but it's not the only thing. I'm experiencing the reflection is becoming clear. Not that I have all the answers. This isn't about Abby. This is about you. So the reflection of yourself is becoming clear. And whether you have all the answers or not, not important because you're getting a feel for who you are and how you want to navigate your life, how you want to move forward. So again, very good, solid message. It seems like you can attain this. Like you can see your reflection. You can discover what it is that you want. You can find the ground. You can slow down and take some mature steps here. You can keep up with this. You can be in the flow of a lot of positive ideas. This is a very mind related experience, but the heart is really thriving here. There's some thriving in the sacral chakra. There's thriving in the root. So it feels like a lot of thriving energy circulating around and around very quickly. So it could be a very energy activating kind of time here in February, which might mean like um, we're catapulting forward. But usually when the energy gets really bright and really exciting and really in motion, you know, we might hit March and there's like work to do, like heavy work to do, because that's how energy works. We get filled with light. The light gets into the darker crevices. It releases all that old wound stuff. Then we feel the wound stuff. We release it and then we hit the light again. <laughs> so this is a very bright um, experience. I wouldn't worry about the future. Just focus on right now. And right now feels good to me. So I'm going to ask the universe, is there anything else that is a really essential, really healthy viewpoint here of the February energy, some wisdom to support those viewing this video? Um, is there anything else I can share? Okay, they're talking about the courage to be yourself. It's odd, but yes, it takes courage to be yourself. But you are the only one. Who can be you? I cannot be you. Only you can be you. So the courage to be you is pretty much the most essential thing you can be. Because if you're not being you, then what is your existence? Somebody else in your shoes animating you? You must be you. 
okay? You must be you. <laughs> it's like really emphasizing be you. The world needs you. you. You know what I mean? The world needs you. You, okay? There's a lot of love, a lot of support. You are heard. You are loved. You are right where you need to be. You are doing everything right. Even if it's a bit wobbly, teeter-tottery, have some faith. You are in the right place at the right time. And enjoy life. Feel the joy of life. You bring the joy. You are the joy. Okay? So that's what I've got. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this experience. Thank you for being a part of it with me. Giving you a really big hug. <sighs> All right, have a wonderful February. Bye for now.